That's it, Roach. Let's go. Like a new race takes, you're a bigger rat picker than me. Faster. Miserable and hungry. Greetings. It's convert? Perhaps a witcher. It even sounds proud. The great Erasmus Begelberg Memorial Derby. Ride, ride or crawl. Make haste. Come on now. Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, adorned with humorous engravings. Hmm. Treatment of furuncles through cauterization, a study. My manifesto must be it. There's a letter inside. Faster. Your harmony between jockey and steed. You'd think them a pair of old lovers. Synergy reigns between them. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races. Tell me about them. They're run as per Erasmus Vagel Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? 
but the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent, your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Ah, youth these days. This be the witch man. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor! Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Another race. Will you ride? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Off you go! Hear ye, hear ye! 
The final of the Erasmus Vagelbad Memorial Derby is over. Whoa there, Roach. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor. Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time? Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One, two, three, off you go! Run, Roach. You will not find much to do I've heard ballads about you. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbad Memorial Derby is over. The winner is Geralt of Rivia, riding Roach. Glory to the victor. Fantastic race. Congratulations, a grand victory. Captured. Sideshow the circus. Well, Geralt of Rivia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell.
of power should draw from it. Come on now. Why don't you all just get off my back? Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite the win at the Vagal, buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Palio? Never heard of it. Fuck me, what a peasant. The Palio's a race held at night in the city streets. Used to be every district sponsored a competitor. Things are different now. You're gonna race jockeys put forward by Bedlam and Reuven, but my coin's on you. Fine, I'll race. Lovely, color me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, cause I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio is above all a race of honor. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. He's a couple.
Beaver had a good hunt for proving you. Congratulations. Take it easy. I'll give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the Madden Lord, well... Give us a kiss, Geralt. No? Then I'll smooch that roach of yours. That were lovely. And my pay? Take it, you cheeky bastard. Never met a man who earned his coin fairer than you did today. Temple Guard! Scatter! We gotta get the fuck out of here. Thanks, Geralt. Go, go. Well? Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to me, employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W what was I to do? He weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. Wouldn't you have it any other way? Run, Roach.
Whoa! Do not get in my way. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals before the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chief A. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Oh, would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Is this truly what you want? To build a pair of cheap paws and water down one? Tongue as well. Hey! I can't control what I inherit. But you can control oh, what you do with me. I'll give you a discount. I know, which is exactly deeds, why I'm considering. Oh, well, you you're know. always considering. We can gather it if it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. Let me know when you finally decide. I haven't the strength, Geralt. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and Ekema jigs. Maybe you can help an old friend out.
How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Knew I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Let's... Sorry, Dandelion. Maybe later. You always say that. If you change your mind, I'll be here. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the madam... Got a minute? Well. For you, my friend, always. Gotta tell me, how do you wind up owning this establishment? <laughs> You'll never believe this. I inherited it from none other than Alonzo Wiley. Poor son senior himself. You're right, I don't believe it. Alonzo ruled the local underworld with an iron fist, but deep down, he was a romantic, pure as they come. This place is one of the reasons his son's not my biggest fan. See, Cyprian Jr., that is, wanted to make this a brothel, but the rosemary went to me, and I planned to turn it into the most elegant venue in town, a den of art and culture. How do you and Priscilla meet? Huh. It was at the court of Duke Harroward, the annual balladry contest. We faced off in the final. Who won? Well, I don't remember. I bet. Probably lost and you don't want to admit it. Actually, she'd caught my eye, so I let her win. I was counting on getting a prize after the contest. And did you? <laughs> that, my friend, is not your concern. Got a portrait of Hierarch Hemelford I'm willing to part with. Want it? Yes! Those halfling painters. This one of theirs? Uh, mm -hmm. Wonderful! I put this up at the Rosemary in time. It'll make those temple guard inspections so much easier. Ran into Molly. She says hello. Molly? Which Molly? One you promised to show your butterfly collection to. Ah, yes. Now I remember. Butterfly collection? You of all people could stand to be a little more inventive. Molly didn't need inventive. She needed attentive. Average, run-of-the-mill girl. But give her a smile, notice her shoes, let her chat about them a bit, and she'd turn into a wellspring of passion. What did you want from Sophronia? Slipped my mind. Geralt. I want to transform this esteemed establishment. I remember now. Gotta help you convince her you're trustworthy. Exactly. And to do that, we need a sword from Madame Arena Renard's prop collection. So, will you help? Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh man, he's in the biggest last time.
What? They never given me nothing but floppy diddly. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? <laughs> Help a poor fellow out. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What's the hurry? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? And it's raining again. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Sword wound. Shallow but severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Oh! 
cost you double in the rain. in the rain. Jeez. Yeah, life's wet enough in the gutter. You a non-human file, is that it? If there's one thing I hate, it's to repeat myself. Leave him be. Hey lads! Got one eager for a lick in here! Let's show him what happens to freak lovers in Novigrad. Oh yeah, when there's one freak, can't spit but hit another! <laughs> Thank you, Vatgern. If you hadn't intervened, they'd have snipped my ears like they did Phalar's. Or worse. I'd leave Novigrad if I were you. How about that? Non-humans bother you as well? Me? No. The Eternal Fire, yes. They've got other scapegoats to burn right now. 
But it won't be long before they come for you. I don't believe they will. They'd not dare go that far. I was in Rivia in 1268, during the massacre. Know exactly what I'm talking about. Take care of yourselves now. Meaning? What would you have me do? Never leave my home? Step off the pavement to let a human pass? Farewell. wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in the shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Thanks. So long. Get here. of a garcane or a flutter. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Send here. Ought to look for prints on the other side.
She's strong. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Join you for that later. Wait up for me? Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah. Had a chat with the guardsman outside it. See you there. Let's collect our reward. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in.
We dealt with the monster at the docks, here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Karadin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Oh, you bugger! This guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later. Come on. The Doppler's salvation. Your performance was so, mad. So, but we it, they said. It'll pay off, they right said. Right when she's witches coming. Move on. Dad doesn't like elves very much. Take it easy. All right, high time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of Elander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. 
We join forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we work together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And Yad Karadin? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vienne. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Karadin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Karadin's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me. Sleaze, Hammond and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Whores suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Sillies always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Carradine's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Karadin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Karadin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. Oh, 
coin. Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck. to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. What's on the menu today? So long. Welcome to the seven. They even say the hang. What's on the menu today? How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent, specifically. Is there grey too?
What do you want? <laughs> Happy trails. Paid the tax. Tax? No loitering round here. Slow so now. Never let your kind in. Be grand proper. Most hallowed fire. Eternal fire keep me safe. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. times. Must be Zed. Find it? No. 
Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Ism Grim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Bad idea. <laughs> For something. Isn't Grim foiled to you? We're looking for something. Wait, tell Dick. Ledger and Life's Discord to bring around for. And we're looking for something. And we're looking for something. Zed sold cards too. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Wanna bite me, Wolfie? Come on. Come on, Roach. Oh. Hey, free boy. What do I got to do? Zoltan. Get out. You've been in town a while? Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir, why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Sigi Ruven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Round of Gwent? I never refuse. Let's play.
Seems I won. A right fucking shock, given your frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Zoltan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> they say elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smackin', things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore in Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Faster. All right. I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. It's what? a material world. Saying I'm not to give to give, you got a turn. No, said I'll come to the wrong place. But he said he'd done What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. 
Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggar's men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks.
Faster. You pile drive. Master Claytop yeah. heartily greets the challenger. Greetings to Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? Yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? How much will you give me to throw the fight? Considerably more than if you win. Kiss my ass, Master Claytop. You'll regret that. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the ring. Geralt versus Georges George, the pile driver. May the better man win. Fucking come on! And the tavern's new champion is the Witcher called Geralt. Here is your prize. Archibald O'Neill is another brawler you can fight. You'll find him near the entrance to the slums. There's also Mortimer, captain of the guard. He can usually be found near the Oxenfurt Gate. Wouldn't be so pale if you ate onions and oil. Oh! How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. 
Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi here was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stake. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. You're carrying! Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Hello, Sourpuss. The eternal fire you protects so pale us, with you ate onions but and a all. witcher sure comes in handy at times. A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one, and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is... I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. And the witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Going to be a butcher when I grow up. Ah! Oh! <clears throat> wow! Look! Oh, I've had enough of living. Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. 
I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. That certainly keeps the car there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. Said so Caesar'd never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. Who's he? Well, him! Well, that's, that's Geralt! Does say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the pond, You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out? Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Excuse me for a minute. <laughs> Humans! Can they hold their Mahakaman spirit if their life depended on it? <laughs> Go on! And if you need help holding your hair back, give us a holler! <laughs> Sure, blame that on us, too. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't he have... Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawers open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Ah, here's Frangilla. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged.
dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Joachim Devet Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir, temper on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Zoltan, time we were on our way. <sighs> I suppose so. It's grown late. Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Come to Pappy! Explain this to Cleaver. I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shitload of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. Long as they pay. Such lovely natural. Oh, I can't wait to get the king of beggars out of my beard. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. 
Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards getting away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Whip your back off, you What? I can't understand a word. Might as well stop. Driving drowners? <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha. What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. 
Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. 